Sue here. Right, Sue here from Sue's Dog Rob Knife Garden today, and it is the 6th of Decem December. <laughs> 6th of September, not December. I don't think I would be walking around at Cardigan if it was the 6th of December today. Anyway, I've just come out. It's about, I think, half past two in the afternoon, and it is really, really warm. And I'm just looking around. <laughs> Body tunnel. Oh, I still seem to have an issue with slugs and caterpillars in the polytunnel. Right, next year I'm going to be really vigilant and put up netting at the start of the season. But this year I've just got to try and deter them. So today's video is about deterrence for slugs. So. In my garden, I have my brassicas that I've put out there, and indoors I have my rescue operation. So, my rescue operation deterrents are eggshells. I do have them ones, I have these ones also. <laughs> and I have some beer. Right, the only beer I have left is this. I won't show you the label, but it is a certain brand of stout. So we're going to use that in our beer traps outside, which I've already got. I know you're probably thinking you should be drinking it and not putting it in your garden, but I need to do something as a deterrent. So today's deterrents are the <laughs> these and the beer. And I'm going to be like putting some more plastic bottles around them but what I've decided to do so they've got more room to grow is maybe cut the tops off a bit so there's more room because you just want these slugs to not go inside them but I'm thinking they haven't got enough room to grow so we're going to go and sort these out today because I've got some more brassicas up here which I want to get out in the garden today and I need to sort out one of the beds where it's been re recently done but it has a lot of stones and stuff in it so before I can plant out my beetroot and my swede which I have many of I need to just sift through it a bit and take out the big stones also this week so these like all these garden jobs are going to be for this week um oh I need to sort out that aubergine there so next year my plan is to make sure i put up deterrents on the doors um with some mesh that lets the the, the little bugs come in but not the butterflies and uh, also the slugs um i'm not sure because I'm, I'm gardening organically so i've got to find organic alternatives to getting rid of slugs in, inside my polytunnel um because things are getting eaten by slugs and yeah it's not good i can't have all my produce that i'm growing getting eaten and i might have to do a bit of watering inside the polytunnel I do have my hose now with the spray on it so I could actually just go around and water it with that instead of putting the sprinkler system on over the top because some of the stuff on the table needs a bit of watering um, and it might be quicker than the sprinkler system and the pots so I'm just going to give it a quick water but first of all I'll show you around the polytunnel and just outside today okay and what I'm going to do outside Okay, so let's turn the camera around. So, let's show you quickly inside the polytunnel. So, we've still got our brassicas here, but look how nibbled they are. Yeah, really, really bad. So, next year we've got to get rid. Look, oh, there's a caterpillar there. Yeah. Oh, dear. Just squeezing them in my fingers. They're just full of green from the... Just what they're eating just the uh, so next year definitely got to do some deterrence yeah don't let the cabbage butterfly get in here look what it does to your brassicas 
look at this one this one they're all look at the hydrangeas they're they're thriving the brassicas the cabbage white doesn't like those over here what's going on yeah we still got some but i don't know if they're going to grow very well that one up there's completely destroyed this one's not too bad anyway i'm going to be harvesting some rhubarb i think that's looking like it needs rhubarb harvesting because that poor old um there's a melon in the corner there and if you can see under the rhubarb there's a melon here i need to train it up this string it's having a hard time because the rhubarb leaves are overpowering it anyway so we're just having a quick look round in the polytunnel so over here are the blotted beans i thought they were supposed to be a different like a different color I don't know. I'm a bit confused about the Bellotti beans. They just look like beans to me. They're not coloured. Do they change colour? Uh, I don't know. Mm, that's one. I don't know. I'm really confused. I'm sure they, they look like they were pink and that on the packet. But they don't seem to be changing colour. I'm not sure about these peas. Hmm. there's some here I think I might just I don't know if they're going to come to anything they don't seem to be looking too good uh, I think it might be a bit late for the peas no, I think it is I think it's too late for the peas oh, there's some flowers there oh I don't know anyway the chocolate tomatoes are coming on I should get a few chocolate coloured tomatoes these tomato plants are looking all right actually they've stopped going yellow now i cut out a lot of the yellow leaves and they seem to be going green again there's more chocolate tomatoes the carrots in here i'm not sure what's going on with them and the peppers i think these are bell peppers there's a pepper oh, i don't know if you can see it there so there's a few on this one um, some of these plants have been eaten by slugs not sure uh, look at that caterpillars probably more <laughs> anyway never mind we're learning so I've got to weed this it's got loads of stinging nettles in here so we'll go through these beds this week over this side I did harvest all of the French beans the other day and they're still growing look how oh sorry my fingers are in the way the French beans are still growing they need a bit of a tidy up I think got some dead stuff here yeah that one's hanging off look so I need to go through this tidy it all up um, and just maybe take out some of these brassicas here uh, these tomatoes here are doing all right. They still haven't ripened yet, but we've got some tomatoes on here. And they're looking green. Uh, we'll give them some more food. So here's all some more brassicas on the table. Um, some celery that I've been just cutting for the shoots. A rocket here is looking a bit sad. Um, there's some cauliflower here. Spinach? No, I don't think that's spinach. This is cauliflower. So these ones are going to go out in the garden, but I will protect them. There's some more watercress, watercress, <clears throat> some more Brussels sprouts. So my ones outside are looking a bit slaughtered. Um, oh, these parsnips need putting on. I have to do them. I think this is more Brussels sprouts or cabbage. Oh, I think this is sprout, sprout and broccoli. I think that's what that is. Poppies. Here are my sweet that I've got to put them in the garden. Over here we have some more melons. We need to just train these to go up the strings. They're sort of hanging down. There's a couple of baby ones there. Look, there's one. They're all fuzzy. They're really cute. And the morning glory, which I was trying to figure out what it was called. Here it is, the morning glory. I'm not sure why the leaves are looking that colour. 
probably needs a good bit of water actually so I have to tidy up this bed because I can't quite make out what's going on here obviously I haven't really done much in the polytunnel because I've had my grandsons here last week or the week before I had my yeah and the week before oh, I don't know I had my family here so I haven't really done much maintenance in the polytunnel shows how quick you need to get on top of things there's some tomatoes right in here uh, I've been harvesting quite a few cucumbers and we've got some more cucumbers coming here there's some more I might just take them off as baby ones that was a funny little one there and there's a great big one up there and another one there so we've done really well for cucumbers I think um, I've never grown cucumbers before so this is a first and then over here we've got these two tomato plants not really doing much I think they need a drink the beetroot here this coleus definitely needs a drink I know that we've got strawberry runners under the table they're all doing really well I'll give them a drink I'm gonna harvest this chives so I'm going to harvest the chives and back there, believe it or not, are some garlic. Look at the weeds growing and the small little ball um, carrot. So I will tidy all this up. Oh, that's the cucumber melon, one of them, growing around that pole nicely. And then our physalis is here, still growing away. I'm not sure what's going on with the tops of it. I have to keep feeding these because they're in pots. The celery is looking rather good. Look, the celery is growing. So I, I didn't thin them out though, so I'm not sure what they're going to look like. These tomatoes are growing. I need to sort these tomatoes out. I did sort them out last week and then I got distracted. This needs weeding and a little bit of a dig over. And I'm going to throw some seeds in here. There's a fly hovering around me. There's an aubergine here. I can't see any aubergines yet though, and flowers, these leaves are a bit weird, I'm not sure what's going on there, and this one, I have to pick them off, um, what's that saying it's growing here, what's that, oh, it's getting away in there, oh it's the cucumber melon, <laughs> oh there's another one there, oh, there's an, and the rest of it's going up this way, and round here, oh it's trying to attach itself to the hanging basket now oh, I need to wind that round there <laughs> oh the cucumber melon it's just going mental wow they were so little I thought they weren't going to come to anything but they're so cute look it's growing all along here now and here we are have some forming uh, I can see that so these are the cucumber melons they get to the size of gooseberry apparently then we have some more broccoli here that we need to put out in the garden there's some more red cabbage back there I've got to do some seeds this week as well my rose is still flowering really nice I'm collecting all the petals as they fall um, indoors and I'm drying them because I want to make potpourri in here are our leeks which are a right mess all falling down I was gonna re like dig them out and redo them I still might uh, well leaks just done for this year or well, I might just leave them I'm not sure what's going on with these weird carrots I don't know I did pull one up and it didn't look nothing like a carrot to me so, <laughs> I'm not sure over here is the aubergines at the back can't see any aubergines um not sure what's going on with them hmm. it's got flowers on it i don't know i can't actually see any fruit can't see any fruit but i can see flowers these ones have got this weirdness on them as well so i have to pull them off in here can i see anything on these oh yeah we've got a chili here i think Mm, there's something here, a chilli here, a little weeny one, 
Mm, under there. Uh, these thistles here have grown well. Oh, sorry if I'm just frying the camera around. There's a few more tomatoes on these plants. Like, very odd. There's some here, some there. It's very, very strange. There's some more tomatoes here. Uh, like tomato flowers. Can't actually see any tomatoes forming. There's tomatoes here forming. Like there. <laughs> and the odd one. That's very weird. Oh, this poor little thing looks like it could do some tending to. And this uh, coleus that I had on the table for ages in this thing. I actually hung it up because I've put two of the hanging baskets outside the front of the house now. This needs a drink or some food. Feeling a bit light. Um, and then back round here again. So that's the inside of the polytunnel. Let me just show you what's going on outside. So the other day when I went to Barmouth with my family I bought some toys for my garden. Because <laughs> I couldn't resist. So I've got a load of shells for my Shell Island garden. So there they are, all different kinds of shells. I've just put them there. And my grandson found these when they were digging up the garden. Oh, this one they found. In this weird little pot, so I just put them there. <laughs> um, yeah, it's looking good out here. So we've put a hose on. I think I may have said this in a previous video. I don't want to keep repeating myself. I got this wonderful little shell thing, very tacky, but I love it. And then round to the this part of the garden where I can see some eatings going on. Look, so I've got some more bottles. So what I'm going to do with the bottles, instead of having them like not being able to breathe very well, I'm going to cut the tops off of these. These and these and so that they've got more room but the slugs won't be able to get in and if they do they'll probably cut themselves on the top of the ridges and then oh look at that that's fine isn't it and then with some of the others I'm going to just put round the shells the eggshells so we're going to do that and we're also going to put beer in the beer traps because none of them have got any beer and it all dried out so we haven't finished with our deterrence yet but I knew I was going to lose some but these seem to be doing all right these um I think these are the purple sprout and broccoli or green broccoli I don't know anyway these are the Brussels sprouts hey looking whoa <laughs> some of these aren't looking too good but I've still got some more to replace them so what I'm going to do is do exactly that Oh, some of them are really bad, really eaten. So I'll take them ones out and I'll replace them with, and then put the bottles round. And then over here we have our, I think these are picked up now, the, um, these are the turnips and they seem to have picked up. So the zinnias are just keep on growing but I haven't actually seen any flowers the gooseberry in the middle seems to have died off already these are dying off now didn't get any fruit uh, wasn't expecting to get any this year we've got to move this tayberry as I said before I'm going to move it over into the middle um, well I might actually put it inside with this one next to it yeah in fact I will put it here and I put some mulch around these yesterday um, a bed in and I'd, I'm going to move that raspberry as well and I do have three more bags of bedding to go on these beds um, but I'm not going to put it on where the brassicas are I'll probably put it over here there's my dog <laughs> I'm going to put them in this bed but what I need to do first in here is just sift it through a bit because there's a lot of stuff in there that I don't want. I need to get some more compost as well because... And I need to get the... Um, the mesh, the micro mesh to go over these beds. 
but in here will be half turnips and half not turnips swede and beetroot in this bed in this big one and this in this one we have to take into account that there's this big log here so what i was going to do was put in my strawberries that are growing indoors and i'm going to dig them out and finish them off in here but i've got to sift through this first so there's a lot of stones in here and then i'll have to put some compost in with them and then i will put the mulch down in this bed but in half this bed i want strawberries dedicated to strawberries this whole bed will be and the other half will put something else in and then the strawberries will just go down there in time and cover up the whole of this bed so this whole bed will be strawberries and then we're just dotting some other little pro um, other little plants in between as and when and in the autumn this bed will be emptied so we'll have that bed as well because all them plants are going to go for my hedging so that, that's where they're going and the hollyhocks will be moved out and put in here so when these tobacco flowers are finished which will be the first frost because they last till then they last for a long 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 time so we'll just leave this bed for now we just won't touch it we'll just leave it to do its thing oh i bought this the other day so I've got, bless your garden bless this garden then i've got these funny little gnomes there and there and i've got another little ladybird that has light eyes that light up here that is uh, solar powered look at this they're cute <laughs> and a butterfly it's got a butterfly that cute I do like all this silly nonsense in my garden <laughs> and what else did i get oh yeah i got this this here as well this here <laughs> funny looking thing um i think that was all i bought yeah so every time i go out now i'm gonna buy something silly for the garden just to make it cheerful and silly because i like it <laughs> anyway oh this colia seems to be wanting to flower here i think this needs a drink oh yeah Right, so I'm going to do some watering now. And I'll go around and water everything. And then I will tackle the, the problem with the slugs. Okay, I might let you see me doing that, okay? So I'll see you again in a minute. Bye for now, bye. Away. I just hope you can hear me. Right. Move the camera down a bit. Right. Hopefully this works. So my plan is, folks, is to I've got my plastic containers here. So what I did with these ones that are in here is um I just cut the top off, the like the bottom off. So what I want to do this time is you've got to be careful here not to stab yourself okay Instead of just having it like that, I'm going to cut the top bit off as well so that the plants have more room to move. So, oh dear, let's see if I can get the top bit to come off. Oh yeah, it's really soft. I just can't believe how soft this is. So I'm going to cut the top bit off. 
and see if this is better for the plant that stops the slugs from eating the poor things. Right, so what we're going to do is do this this time. So it's got like, um, like that. So we're, we've got quite a few to do with these. So I uh, might speed this bit up because it might be a bit boring. <laughs> so I've got quite a few. I've got to take these plastic thing sleeves off as well. So I think I've got about 10 to go and some of these these bottles as well which we also use which is gold top milk which we also have. Um, so I will crack on with this and I'll see you again in a minute. of the smaller ones. So what we're going to do, I'm just going to drink my coffee. Oh, it really hurt my thumb. Oh, I'll move the camera around and I'll show you. I'm going to put some on these plants on this side. Oh, we'll just see if it works. back in a minute because I need to change direction and uncover the net okay see you again in a minute hello again everyone so what I'm gonna do is just get the, the shells in here my brassicas. So we've got three deterrents now. I'll just take one of these deterrents off. Right, so our deterrents are these, this, and these. Right, so what we need to do loads more of the milk bottles that I've already put on and I might do the same thing to them as what I've done here. So, hello everyone. So here are my brassicas and this one here looks really bad. So this one is inspected. See if it's got any... Just, I don't know if it's... Um, or is it just slug? Look out, just slug. So that one, we're going to put one of these plastic things on. It's all spindly now. I hope it 
Hopefully this will be a good return. I don't know. I'm trying to push it down into the soil a bit. So we've put one of the covers on. Now we're going to put some egg soil ground. We've got to crunch them up. I was going to get my gloves on for this. This can be quite painful sometimes. And also the eggshells are good for calcium uh, soil. I was I saw that today. And we'll put one round this one. thing is, if you use milk bottles, we've all got these, haven't we? Well, most of us. And I think the plastic, because it's, you know, it's sharp, it probably might deter them from going inside, you know, inside it. Well, we'll see. We can but try to deter the slugs. This is what happens when you do organic gardening. Uh, yeah, sorry about that one. Right, we're going to try them first. See if they recover. If they don't, I'll just have to replace them. That's what I'll do. Just make sure I push it down a bit. Hard to do it with this plastic because it's quite soft plastic. Right. It doesn't matter if you use cooked eggshells or raw eggshells. I've got a mixture of two. Some of these are the ones we have, you know, that are cooked, and some of them are raw eggshells. Where, you know, we have boiled eggs and stuff. Them ones there don't look too good. This one looks quite good. So we definitely want to help that one along. I think this is a better way of doing it. And we'll see if it works. I can but try to help the plants along. The other thing you can do is come out late at night with a torch. But that's if you remember. I don't know why you remember to come out late at night. My partner likes coming out and doing it. I don't really like it because I'm quite tired in it. <laughs> and the last thing I want to do is come out and start seeing to the brassicas. So I'd rather try these kind of repellents myself. And that's what we're doing today. And I will just keep adding bottles to the, uh, each time I get one I'll just keep it and keep adding to my collection. Mm -hmm. I know slugs don't like um, shells, so make it quite um, hard for them. Which is good because that's what we want. Right, if, if they, I do have some more plants if this doesn't work. Right, now we put the beer trap here as well because I know slugs like a bit of beer so I'll put the beer trap here as well I don't know, this might work we'll see So the first bed is done, we've done this bit, now we need to do this one. 
don't know if we're going to have enough bottles. Um, and then there's this one. I don't know if we're going to have enough bottles for all of them. So, I might just put eggshells around them ones and see if that helps with the beer track. And try and use the rest of these ones up on this bed. Right, we'll put the eggshells on this one. We won't have enough for just the eggshells. But in this middle bed, we're doing eggshells, bottles and beer traps and see if that works. The first one we'll just do the bottles and the third one we're going to just do the eggshells. So bottles and beer trap there, eggshells and beer trap there. And we'll see which one works. Now we're going to do this side. I've got quite a few parts on this side. There's one, two, three, four. Oh, that one's not any good. Totally no good because it's got no leaves on it. This one's not got any leaves on either. And this one. So, and this one. And we'll take out all of them. No point in keeping those. These are the purple sprout and broccoli apparently. So what we'll do is I've got a few spares so I can put some spares in, but we'll just do these ones for now. So I've got this plant first. I'll try and lean. Oh. Interesting experiment to see if it works. I don't want to get in at the bottom. God's sake. And this way. Okay. Right. So in this track, in this bit, see how many plants we have to sacrifice. So I'm over here now. The third bit. So we've got a bit track here. Is smaller than the other one. I might move that bigger one to this side. I've got this little one on that side. That might be a better idea. So this one's got a bigger beer track. Which I'll put there in the middle. And we'll put that one there. And so we've got a few more eggshells. So we'll try and put them right around the plant. You can just dig these in after anyway. Be good for the soil anyway. So we'll try and put them as near to the plant as we possibly can. Take off the lower leaves of the brassicas as well.
Make the radio strip. It's for hunting dogs. Just finish these shells up. You can hear some crows. Right, and just a couple more around this one. Let's go down. Right. See how it goes. See what happens. Right. So I hope they don't have any caterpillars on. I don't know if they do or if it is just slug damage. So let's see. I don't know. Anyway, that's the experiment. So we'll look back tomorrow which will be the 7th of September and we'll see what's happened okay we will just finish filling up these with this here and I've got some more bread on the other two bread sacks so I will just fill them up I haven't got any more okay, okay so that's the experiment done for now so I'll see you again in a minute, okay? Again, Sue here from Sue's Dog Rob Knife Garden today on the 6th of September. And I just wanted to show you what I've been up to in the garden today. I did show you earlier putting the uh, plastic over the brassicas and putting down some eggshells. And since then I've put on some, I'm not sure how you pronounce it, diagnosis earth around them as well. And I've done the other side of bed. I'm just going to give you a quick look before I cover the cover them back up with the micro mesh. So I cut all the bottles. I cut the rest of the bottles um, that were already in the bed. And now I've done it all. And tomorrow what I'm going to do is just come round and just put a few more spare brass, brassicas in. Um, or I'll wait until I've got a few more milk bottles first, actually. I might wait till the end of the week keep them in the polytunnel for now and then at the end of the week when I've got a few more milk bottles hopefully I can uh, do some more so anyway I'll give you a quick tour of what I've just done and then say goodbye okay here we go so I just want to show you what I just did so you saw me do this on the camera so I've put my beer traps in I've covered them round with plastic these ones so I had enough plastic for all of these um, and we're just trying to deter the um, the slugs really and in here we have so that's experiment one with the beer traps and the plastic just that in this one we've got the beer traps um the plastic and eggshells so we're going to see if that helps at all see if that helps they've already been nibbled i left that one there that had been quite nibbled but i think some of them were caterpillars as well you know i did find a couple of caterpillars still on them from when they got attacked in the polytunnel so and then this one here this one's just got some oh diagnosis earth round and some eggshells and a beer trap so they're they're in the open so i haven't got enough plastic bottles to go on every all of them over here are the uh the ones that were already covered with the plastic bottles and some of them didn't look too good look oh. I do some filming and some planes decide to go over. They haven't come over all day just because I've decided to film they decide to come over. So in here we have some more. We've put a plastic um the plastic round but I could find a slug inside one of these. So what I've done was I've cut off the end bits. Um see that there's like a tube 
but in in one of them there was a slug in there so i cut it in half nice anyway so i've gone round all these and i've tidied them up and i've put on some diagnosis earth on the ones that haven't got any covers on more beer traps i've used two tins of beer on all of these um and i've done them all the way to the ends there are some that haven't got any uh these ones are all right at the end here look these haven't got any covers on i just put some diagnosis earth just to help and a beer trap so and i took the plastic bottles off of the beetroot here and put them on the cabbages so we'll just see how they go how they fare and we'll just put some more of the plants in if they get eaten so this is all an experiment this is a uh, organic gardening with no slug pellets no slug anything just trying natural deterrents and beer and stuff at the moment and plastic and see if that works um hopefully it does if it doesn't i'll have to try something else uh just so that these poor plants can get away um because even though you've got the micro mesh that's all right for the the butterflies and stuff but it doesn't actually stop the slugs from getting in in there so it doesn't really stop the slugs so hmm I'm not sure what i'm supposed to do anyway um it's a beautiful evening look beautiful sun's up there sun's getting higher in the sky well no lower in the sky setting further and further over the mountain um so i know what sort of time it is now it's going on to six by the sun i can tell wow they're not showing it right on the camera but there you are there's the sun there um yeah it's starting to get darker earlier the animals start going to bed soon um oh pheasants there kicking off anyway so i just wanted to show you that so i'll just turn the camera around say goodbye and then we'll be done again so i just wanted to say goodbye um yeah, so I think I've done enough today. I'm going to go in now and have a game pie that I made yesterday and I'm heating it up in the oven today with some jacket potatoes we're having. I'm just going to cover up all my brassicas again um, and hopefully this... I just need to go and check what that noise is. an F-15 to me. The only one that's flown over today, and it's flown over twice now, I was just wondering what that noise was coming from over by the chicken house. Are they kicking off? I need to go and investigate, check they're all right. I'll go in a minute once I say goodbye. Anyway, please like and subscribe to my channel tell your friends and family about my channel and if there's any knowledge i'm giving you about how to do a polytunnel and everything that goes with creating your garden from fresh and brand new which is my polytunnel and my actual garden that i'm growing all my vegetables in i'm trying to get the sun so you can actually see me oh that's better so yeah i'm just i'm just showing you the good the bad and the ugly of of growing your garden organically as much as possible and um we have no chemicals uh well you know no nasty chemicals um so i'm just trying deterrents and yeah i might lose a few plants in the process which i have already i did uh, have have to pull some of the brassicas out they they were eaten too much but i'm keeping some of the ones that I'm nibbled but not too bad um, and I've still got some backups in the polytunnel uh, hopefully tomorrow I need to um, sow some more seeds and I need to tidy up the polytunnel um, if I have the energy this evening I might come out once it's dark and just see if I can see any slugs or snails it's mainly slugs not snails in our garden I don't see many snails at all I usually just see slugs anyway so Thank you for watching and I'll see you again soon. So bye for now. Bye.